Hello guys and happy Tuesday. So it's about six o'clock. Um, I'm just now getting home um, from a full day of didactics. Um, we had lectures all day, we had grand rounds, and then we had our mid rotation evaluation, which came about a week late. We're past the mid rotation point. But um, I kind of just decided to pick up the camera to hold myself accountable. Um, I'm noticing that when I get home pretty late, um, I tend to rest longer than I need to, then that leads to me not being as productive, productive as I should. So um, this evening it's all about being productive after a long day of lecture, after a long day of work. And I feel like my productivity comes in spurts. Like there can be hours or like a few days stretch like out of the week where I'm just super productive and then there can be just days where I'm just not as productive as I would like to be. But there is... Um, Next week is the last clinical week of the rotation. The week after that is when we have all of our exams, um, our shelf exam at the end. So it's crunch time. So when I get home every day, I need to maximize my time and then make sure, you know, I'm studying efficiently and doing what I need to do. So now that I'm home, I'm just going to change, um, take a shower, probably just rest a little bit and then get to studying. So my first tip for being productive after school or work is to grab a snack and just relax for a little bit. So this is my snack of choice. So after a long day of your brain being stimulated all day in class, at school, at work, wherever you may have been, the natural tendency is to just come home, maybe lie down on a better couch and just maybe take a nap. Now, if you want to be productive, it's it's important to rest and relax a little bit, but you also need to put a time li limit to that. For me, I suggest nothing more than 30 to 45 minutes, depending on what time you get home. If it's a short day and I'm come and I come home early in the afternoon, maybe around let's say three o'clock, then I can maybe push it to an hour. If I'm getting back a little bit later, like six or seven o'clock, then maybe I'll give myself 30 minutes and then I need to start going. So just a little snack and then a little break, but the key is do not get too comfortable. So for me, I'm just going to watch um, a couple YouTube videos and then head to my studying. Tip number two is to create a clean study space. Your bed should not be the place where you study. You may think you're getting work done, but it's not productive work. You're gonna have so much more efficiency if you're studying in a clean environment, a clean desk with just your books, your laptop, whatever else you need. In your bed, that's such a relaxed space and it's not really a place that you should be doing productive or efficient studying. I mean, maybe some days, but as far as where you consistently studying, where you consistently study, I would not suggest your bed. You know, um, the area you're in, um, your environment, that really, um, it really contributes to your productivity. So if you're in a messy place, if you're in a dark area, or maybe any other area that brings your mood down, you're not gonna be as productive. So set up a clean and nice workspace for yourself. Tip number three, make a to-do list. And with that, I use um, my planner. Um, write out everything you need to do for the evening. Sometimes I start making this list when I'm at school. If I know I just finished a lecture um, in class, I write that down in my planner. I need to go over that lecture again. If I know I need to watch a certain amount of videos or I need to um, look at certain notes, I write all those things down in my planner. The last thing you wanna do is get home, it's time to study, and then you have to think about all these different things you have to cover. Have it all laid out and make it manageable and that way you can see um, greater efficiency in your studying. For me, on my to-do list today is to go over the two, um, two of the lectures that we had, which was um, cervical cancer and ovarian cancer, and then I also need to do some UWorld questions. So I wanna knock out about 10 to 15 um, UWorld, uh, UWorld questions today. So those things are listed in my um, on my to-do list. I see them clear and I know that's what I need to tackle this evening. Number four, avoid social media. Put the phone away. Oh my gosh, this thing can be such a distraction at times. And if you have an iPhone, there's this thing, um, I think it's called like screen time where you can like monitor how many hours you're on your phone and exactly what apps you're using. Make sure you turn that on because it's an eye opener to how much you're truly using your phone. The amount of times you just, I'm getting messages coming in. 
So distraction, the amount of times you just look at your phone for either notification, if you're just looking to check Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, whatever you use, that takes up so much of your time that you probably don't even realize and it's cutting into your productivity and your efficiency when it comes to studying. So just get rid of the app. If you don't have that self-control, just delete the app for a few hours and maybe upload it again in the morning. But avoid social media when you're trying to study and be productive after work and after school. Tip number five and my final tip is to set an end time for your study schedule at night. Now when we study in the evening, I feel like we get this sense of the night is never ending. So we just have all these amount of hours in the evening to get studying done. But I feel like that gives us a false sense of our time. So if we set an end time, let's say maybe 10.30 or 11 p.m., that's my end time. So I know I have until I get home until that time to get all of my work done and to be as efficient and productive as possible. So give yourself an X amount of hours and say to yourself, this is what I need to get done and this is the time I have to get that done. Because again, you have to be, um, you know, up and ready for your next day. So you don't want to be studying until 2 a.m. You're not going to be, you know, as mentally sharp and ready for your next day of uh, lecture or work. So, you know, give yourself a few hours and give yourself an end point and that that can be your goal from I have let's say till I get home until this time at night to get all my work done and to be as productive and as efficient as possible. So my time of snacking and relaxing is done. Before I start my studying, I just want to make my overnight oats right now because I know later in the evening before I go to sleep, I'm gonna be too tired and I may not end up doing it. So I'm just gonna head to the kitchen and do that now. So preparing overnight oats is probably the easiest way that I guarantee I eat breakfast in the morning. Um, typically I'm leaving like around 6 a.m. these days and so making breakfast that early in the morning is not ideal. So making overnight oats and eating them in the morning is the best thing to do for me. And then this is all you need. Some old fashioned oats, chia seeds, um, some Greek yogurt, almond milk, and a mason jar. All right, so this is what I have so far. The oats, um, chia seeds, the yogurt. I did not measure any of this out. And then I'm just gonna add some milk. Mm, need some more milk. All right, so I added some almond butter, a little bit of sugar. Just mix it up, shake it up. You can mix it up with a spoon and then put this in the fridge um, overnight, warm it up in the morning and it's good to go. It, the, the consistency will like thicken overnight. And after you warm it up in the morning, you can also add toppings like um, strawberries, blueberries and um, like granola and there's different ways you can make overnight oats just YouTube some different um, recipes or Pinterest or Google and another thing I like to do before um, the night is over or the previous night rather is um, to pack my lunch because if I don't do it the previous night doing it in the morning is most likely not going to happen so I just did that and I'm gonna put it in the fridge for tomorrow All right, so now it's about uh, seven o'clock and now I'm gonna get uh, started on my studying. So it's just past 11 o'clock. Um, I'm pretty happy with the progress I made on my to-do list. Um, I did all but one small little thing that was on there, um, which I can just finish up tomorrow. Um, I hope this video helped you and you gained some productivity tips. Um, and if you guys have any tips that you use to be productive after school or after work, make sure you leave it in the comment section below and I'll be sure to check that out. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. 
Oh, one more thing. Next week is my final week of ob -GYN. This week seriously flew by. Um, this week I'm on maternal fetal medicine. So that's dealing with like high risk OB patients and patients with like gestational diabetes, chronic hypertension, preeclampsia, seizure disorders, like one of the patients I had today. So just high risk um, OB. So it's been, um, Really cool learning how to manage those type of patients. Next week I have um, Gyne, so I'm gonna be back in the OR. I um, haven't really been in the OR since surgery. So just one more week and I'm done with this semester and then halfway done with third year. It's pretty crazy to think about. All right guys, bye for real this time. <laughs>